Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Whoa, well, that was quick. Welcome to the main account. Again, this is part of the session where we are uploading every single game. We are playing Zeri. I was jungle, as you can see, but this guy was like, I don't want to do that. Can I play something else? And I was like, do you want a jungle? And they're like, yes. So we're playing AD carry. Someone was asking, by the way, in chat, like, what roles would I say I'm comfortable in in certain ranks? I think I am in the position that I can definitely play all five roles and it's fine in the current rank I am, which is obviously Diamond 2. I think I'm fairly comfortable even in Diamond 1 on all five roles, but the higher, the more high rating I go, just the lesser champions in my kind of outer roles, if that makes sense. Because like I've not played top lane for a while, so like I've got my old picks like Shen that I know I could play. AD carry, I'd probably be limited a little bit more as well, but... I... And hilariously, mid is the one that I'm playing the least of, and I'm a mid main. It's just mid sucks. It, 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 you can't hide away from it. My champion pool that I enjoy playing in mid lane is bad. So there's just no point playing mid. Yep, you build as a bruiser on Zeri, so Triforce, Runins, uh, Titanic, Hydra. When you get those three items, you are near unstoppable. So you get really tanky. Don't I join Ari? Ari is not good. I do not rate Ari very good at all. There's no carry potential. Why is Lulu so far back? Yeah, Nautilus was just allowed to walk up then and hook me because Lulu was behind me. I was even far back too. Guess Lulu wants them to push. Yeah, we have a Kled mid. He had a platinum border with silver challenges. It's an... Uh -oh. I'm dead. Uh, you okay? You exhausted? Really? I can't. Uh, whatever. I guess I'm just playing really passive, which I don't want to do. But my Lulu is playing B behind me, behind every single minion. So I've got to just play stupidly passive. This is the biggest thing when you're playing bot lane is when you have an absolute disconnect of you and another player. I don't want to play this passive, but I have to if my Lulu is going to play this passive. Again, they got the level 2 power spike because Lulu is just refusing to actually, like, go forward. It's really annoying. You don't have to be this passive. Like, if she wants to play passive, that's one thing, but she can't play... All the way like back there. That's just basically making me. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna get boring. That Darius got greedy. Nice. So Kled got the Hecarim. They got top lane. At least that's gone well. But I'm already dead twice in bot lane. Man. still on a diet yes what ish oh dear again the cheese pick of cled mid is not working hopefully we get a gank <laughs> there was a pause it's yeah <laughs> i am now Oh my god, what are these hitboxes? Oh 
Again, to be fair, I played Nautilus last game and we all know the hitboxes are a little bit dodgy. Actually surprised that didn't hit me. I just feel Hecarim's going to be bot lane again. Anybody got that feeling? I got that feeling. When one jungler shows bot lane early, it's usually a... Oh, they're going to be bot lane a lot. Oh, wait, he went mid lane? No. Garvin went to the wrong lane again. God damn it. Why is he allergic to bot lane? Bot lane is still the most important role to gank. One jungler's come bot lane and one hasn't. And I gave him jungle. Would have thought he would like return the favor of me giving the role that he doesn't want and gank. You bought your first car yesterday? Hey, congrats, dude. Spot lane again. Not even point staying. In, when the lane's not going to be in a great position, but I'm just going to get killed by Hecarim. He's level 6 and he's paying attention to bot lane, unlike Jarvan. We scale really well. Well, ish. We're full AD. But I don't know if that matters anymore in League. Might not matter. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, is he going all, all in for this? No. I think that would have been silly because we don't know where Hecarim is. So Hecarim... Okay... This Lulu is really not great. I don't mind dying. Oh, nice. I got the shutdown and I got executed. Worth. Let's go. Hey, Ambry. We take that. We take that. Do, 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 do. I just got pretty rich from that. Kaiser probably is still ahead of me, but that's nice. Very nice. He's going to walk in here. We needed to kill Nautilus when he was here and Jarvan still was farming. He needed to stop doing the camp if we wanted to get that kill. Oh well. I feel like I've given him a role he didn't want, but I also feel he might not have wanted jungle, if that makes sense. And it's probably worse to have a... Oh, nice. Worse to have a Autofield jungler than probably a, an Autofield AD carry in modern A League. Oh, hey, nice. He's holding the way for me. Yeah. 
Wow. See, if I'm honest, like people might be like, why the hell did Kaisa allow that ha to happen? I actually don't blame her if you think of her thing. Kled's bot lane, most, I would say, AD carries in that position probably wouldn't have gone bot. They would have gone mid to go cover off the lane, but I just returned to bot. So she probably wasn't expecting, you know, a lot of people bot lane. So that's where you might be like, oh, it's weird. You know, she knew you were coming. She might not have. You can kind of forgive it a little bit. Nearly got Triforce. I don't think we want to fight until I've got that. Ed. Oh my god. I got caught sleeping. Wake up me. Oh, do you not blue low? No. Oh, she's not level six. Oh my god, if you were level six, that was a double kill. That was my bad because I was sleeping. I need to wake up, man. Holy moly. She was one minion, I think, away before that fight. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Hey, nice. Whoa, Hecarim was here. Cannot believe how close that fight was. To be fair, that was really close. And she has a completed item and components. And I have not even got a completed item. So it does show that I think with a completed item, we'll sh we actually might start potentially winning. I also think the Kled did actually just also get a kill. Oh no, wait. Did he get a kill? I'm so confused. No. Yes? Maybe he did. And did he teleport back to mid? I think I need to be semi passive here. Yeah, not my cleanest early game to be fair, but we have been a little bit disconnected from the Lulu. We've been ganked by the Hecarim and I also just didn't pay attention then. So add all those things together and that ain't great. Just seeing if this has got a control ward in it. Sometimes it does. Nautilus might go over there. They need Kled. If they want to fight that, they need Kled. They should win that fight, though, with all of them there. Nice job, and all. You went the wrong way! Nice. Nice. Go team. Oh, we wanted that to hit. If he hit the tower, then he was dead. <laughs> I can feel my damage is starting to get there. Did Kled dodge the Azero? It did look like it. Maybe he got dismounted at the, like, the perfect time. And now we win 2v2s. Let's go! Okay, why is Triforce not nerfed? Triforce is strong on Zeri. And this, from what I've seen as well, only gets ridiculous on Zeri when you get like two to three items. We have one item. She is one and a half, like more items than me. She's got tier two boots. She's got more components. It's not even close. Let's go. All right, we got even KD. Even KD. <laughs> What a fiesta. Yeah, she is technically a uh, cult. Gives seven attack damage, so don't discount it. Don't discount it. It does help. Hello, Naughty Nautilus. How are you doing? He's in that bush. You don't want to force it.
Careful, Lulu. This champion is silly. You can't get away from her. Wow. What the hell? I don't leave others behind. Okay. But yeah, good comeback video. To be honest, where we were behind in the early game, but I never felt like I was actually behind, if that makes sense. I know that doesn't make sense what I just said, but like the feel of the game, I didn't feel like I was behind. Tries to split pushing. I don't know if I should have done that, but it's worth. We get two. Oh no, Jarvan died too. Ah, he got feared in the tower. So yeah, Kaiser, as I've always said, the person that's tilted or not now doing well, they always result to split pushing, and it's happened again. Happens every game. Happens every game. Hey, we run this. They died the exact same time. And now we go Titanic Hydra. I think I'm just gonna. She, he, Kaiser died. I'm gonna just wait till the BF sword. Oh, not BF sword, pickaxe. Got more emotes, by the way. I added more. I remembered to do it. Oh, he stopped the, um, the Azir travel then. Uh -oh. Uh oh. I don't know why I didn't think Kaiser would show up. I was fine with, honestly, Darius being there. I don't think it would have made much of a difference, but it was the Kaiser that sh showed up. Yeah, look, all the damage was Kaiser. Damn, my bad. Alarm, 11 months tier one. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Nearly at the year sub club. What a weird game. He got the knockout. That is so much damage on Orn. Odd overstay. Like that, yeah, I don't know. That was odd. Doesn't really achieve anything staying that late. Do we have to be careful of a Baron? I want to go clear that, by the way, but I can't. I think we actually have to be a little bit careful of them trying to do Baron because it's a, <clears throat> a good way of coming back in the game as well. Oh, wait, no, it's not even Baron. It's Rift. That's dying. No, no, no. Oh. I have no idea why Jarvan just did that. 
I genuinely don't know. Oh, I couldn't move. Good luck, team. Come on, Cled, you need to kill everybody. He can't. Why did Jarvan engage? They can't do Baron at least, but that was just a really, really weird Jarvan engage. We didn't need to engage them. We just needed to be patient. What a fiesta, baby. What an absolute fiesta. I want to go get XP. I've not been able to get XP now for like five minutes. I'm just stuck at level 10. Ice is level 12. The one benefit if you do split push, she's actually managing to uh, get XP. And more of the enemy team is in the area, so they can't do dragon. Just leave it. This Jarvan is so weak. Oh, I was so close to kill everybody. Damn. So close. We need the Jarvan to stop making these basic mistakes. He's now not done great in the last few minutes. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, they've got a bunch of power spikes, so they're not weak anymore. That's a zero. If I had ghost then, I think I might have been able to do more as well. Just more free flow. Wow, nice. Just want to do a wave or two. Like, she's level 13, I'm level 11. If I was just level 13, we'd be a lot stronger as well. So that's probably what the Kaisa did. She got semi-tilted from us starting to beat them. And then she went side lane, got ahead on XP, and then she's suddenly strong. That would be a huge kill, by the way. Oh my god, that's huge. What? Baron? How did Hecarim just get caught? I have nowhere to go because my whole team abandoned me. I'm not getting much help this game and it's kind of annoying. And we have a split pushing on. You know, that crazy good split pushing champion on. Why is he split pushing? They get Baron. I'm just not getting any help. This is so difficult. And now he's dead, probably. Oh, this is a bit of a tilting game. So Hecarim, he, again, Hecarim probably can kill him eventually. But the thing that Hecarim can definitely do as well is just hold him. I think Hec Owen's worked out that he's going to die. So he's just going to try and get the kill. If he survives, great. But Darius is chasing that hard. I mean, it's work. They got the kill. We need a group of five and protect me. It's probably our only major way of winning. the enemy team doing? Odd decision. 
What a weird game. AD3 Silver Wolf. Why does she do this much damage? Oh my god, she does millions. Dude, why have Riot made the items so busted? Oh my god, they're insane. Jesus. I just don't know why the items need to feel this strong. They just don't. Item, again, it's the biggest criticism I've had for League in quite a few years. Items are more useful than champions, and that just annoys me. Champions should always be the major thing in the game. Items are just so crazy now. Dude, she hit level 16 from that as well. Eee. I need to level. It's the only way that I think we're going to manage to win. At least I get unpowered Triforce here, which is really nice. Okay, Titanic is also a big spike. So we got Titanic now too. Dude, my AoE, holy moly now, is crazy. I think I'm gonna go back and just get this little bit of lifesteal because like that's the type of thing that I just keep, keep me. She has Are you mistimed. You missed time to queue! Oh my god, this Jarvan! She has a stopwatch. Oh, this Jarvan is... I should not have given this guy jungle. I know it might have even gone worse if he was AD carry, but... Uh, bleh. I think we would have been more ahead. Well, that was a good fight then turned bad and it could have been okay if Jarvan actually timed his Q he would have been fine but he didn't I need to level like I'm getting so far behind in XP because when I'm never being allowed to level up this is annoying me I just want to be like left alone for a little bit and so I can level up Worth for Hecarim to trade for a Lulu. Cled also died. Yeah, he did. I don't know why we've got a Cled mid. She has GA. This is going to be difficult. Aaron is in 10. Did Jarvan steal it? Oh my god, I'm all 12s. 12, 12, 12. 12. I'm dead. Alright, sir. So, yeah, I just get Nord assaulted and I can't do anything about it. And the Zir's just attacking, by the way, this whole time on the side. 
Oh, I just can't do anything. I've got to risk myself way too much to do any damage. Yeah, GG. Oh my god. We tried. We made a really good comeback, but then Kaiser, like, I was outplaying this Kaiser eventually, and then she just got so much solo XP, and then she bought Rage Blade, and then she was unstoppable. One item just changed the whole game for Kaiso. That feels lame. I don't know. I could kind of get killed by multiple people this game. And we weren't really getting any protection. This game could have gone better. I, did, I far, by the way, didn't play my best. We played very sloppy, but we were strong. But it was difficult with... Hecarim coming bot lane and Jarvan not. That could have been a better game. But yeah, the, the, but the balance of the game just feels completely wacky at the moment. You know, you can't hide away from it. It just feels wacky. Um, Damage-wise, we do 38,000. Again, Kaiser does 50, so a lot of damage from there. Darius basically did nothing. But he, he, the thing with Darius, he doesn't need to do a lot of damage if he just manages to get to his passive point for then his ulti. Um, he will do decent damage later anyway, but we're also full AD, which is obviously never going to help. Um, so, you know, they could just build a lot of armor and that's going to hurt us a lot as well. And that's the problem with having something like a Kled mid. I don't know why we have a Kled mid. Is there a reason why you have a Kled mid? There is a reason. Yep. One trick. <laughs> it's a Smurf one trick. Again, like I said last game, every single game, there's at least one person that's a level 30-odd account. That will probably be a bought account. There's at least one in every single game. That's why we have a Kled mid. It's because that player only plays that. But we tried. Really sloppy early game. Really good recovery. And then we just got beat. I don't know. I don't even know if the word is outscaled. We just started losing practically every fight. So, yeah. Annoying. But I felt strong as Zeri. I just could I'm not I wasn't strong enough. Kaisa was oh sorry, stronger. So and I think part of that has to do with the XP. I just kept not being able to get any XP because it was fight after fight after fight. And the unfortunate thing, if you notice in most fights, Kaisa lived, so she gained a lot of XP and then continued to gain XP. And if I died, which all Nautilus had to do was press R on me and I was dead. I didn't survive the fights, even if some of them we won overall, so I never gained XP. So it was quite rough. But uh, anyway, that is going to be it. If you guys enjoyed still, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. regime I know how to unleash eternal peace